Hey, look, this one just drops the whole, the whole chunk. They just dropped the whole chunk off that. That's beautiful. So I'm here, back. Look at this. So last time it was that motor, now it's this one. So these are two speed ECM motors. Um, but that one's turning on and off and spinning the wrong direction. Um, the last time this one was doing that, but wasn't running at all. So that's definitely interesting. Um, I wonder if it has something to do but that's coil temperature sensor alarm is what that is. And I got the replacement for that. So I'm going to change those sensors out. Get that taken care of. But what's concerning me is that motor was the one was wrong. I'll put a link in the description to the video where I'll clip it. I don't know if you can see it, but that fan motor is stopping and spinning and going in the opposite direction. And you'll see that it was this motor, but now it's this one. And I only got one motor, so. Yes, so this is Master Built's idea of a cheaper way to defrost coils. It's a reverse cycle defrost is what they call it. Um, it's got a four-way reversing valve at the condenser. And it reverses the fruit refrigerant flow in defrost mode claiming it eliminates the need for solenoids check valves um, uh, defrost heaters and all that good stuff so you don't need them it makes it more more on cheap basically it's just cheaper to buy so that, that's their design which they actually told me they no longer um, manufacture because this particular store has had three compressor failures already See, that, that's, that's what it does. It just lets short bursts in. It's not even telling me the temperature yet. What's it, that's so stupid. It's just a little short burst. Little bursts. Alright, so most of the coils defrosted. Um, I've been watching these motors, and honestly, the way it, it seems to be happening for me is that whichever side has the most ice at the time, one of the motors don't work, or will do some funny stuff. So, I'm not changing any of these motors out until I troubleshoot that a little bit further. Because the controller goes through a, um, a, a check, a, a sub-check for startup, and it checks the fans. Every fan runs just fine. If there's an issue with those, these motors, that communication and the, and the fan delay and whatever, it, it, it wouldn't pass that checkpoint. So... I just think it has something to do with the ice blocking the airflow and messing with the ECM two speed. So I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna find out. Right, so we're back today. All motors are working. Um, but now I believe we got a low super heat alarm. Um, I don't know. It's got anything to do with that little bit of ice that's still on the coil but I'll get that off but um yeah now we got a little super heat alarm so we're gonna go through that see what's going on I had a feeling that there's something maybe possibly going on with that EEV um, because this is the same system same circuit and it doesn't have that problem. Still no ice on the coil. So here it is. This is the, the, the Master Builds reverse cycle defrost system. Essentially a fake hot gas system. 
sends 24 volts to the reversal valve in um, defrost mode. Reverses flow, and then I believe it pulls gas from out of the. It pulls it from out of the receiver. I can believe at that point. Um. So, but now instead of um, you seen the coil. You seen we got a little superheat alarm. And I got oil all over the floor, all over here. And after I, I already repaired the leak on the condenser back there. And after every repair like that, I um, rinse down and wash the area. So I know it was free of oil when I left. There was no oil anywhere. And now I got oil, so I got another leak. Somewhere. This thing's notorious. We've got problems with it. So take a look back here at these condensers. They're shot. They're shot. This is it right here. I already fixed the leak here. Fixed the leak on the other side. But now the main area of oil now right down here so this is the other system that's working properly right now it's in defrost and this is what it does in defrost it's the hot gas it's the reverse cycle defrost the reverse valve is energized and it's reversing the flow of the refrigerant look and this is what it does this is how it operates exactly how master build cells are supposed to work. It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the one that's not working. I got fresh oil on the floor there, a little superheat alarm. I wash the area down all the time after repair. I, I just fixed the leak back there. You guys seen that video. Um, and I clean, I cleaned the whole area. I, I pressure washed everything down there. Well, I pressure wash, but I hose it down, whatever, clean it up, so that I know the next time I come, if I see oil, that's fresh oil. So I just cleaned it. So, I got another leak here. I, I, I just can't win with these, this system, man. But this is the one that's working fine, and this is what it does in defrost. Here's your reverse cycle defrost and what it looks like. It is absolutely, absolutely retarded. But uh, I'm gonna investigate this guy, uh, charge it up, get it running, and uh, look for a leak. Uh, so I added about three pounds of gas. Uh, this is what, according to Masterbuilt, um, if you have a full sight glass, you are overcharged, according to Masterbuilt. So they say you're supposed to have bubbles in the sight glass. I'm running 449A, it's a freezer. I'm at about say, 5 to 10 PSI right now. Um, the superheat is dropping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, let that superheat get down. Make sure it gets down and reaches 10 degrees. And then I'll know I'm, 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 I'm charged properly. And then I'm gonna throw it into another defrost and just let it and make sure it defrosts right. Um, uh, this one's saying negative 1.9. Um, I'm gonna move that, that that sensor, but let me just check my um, super heat 10, 9.9, 10 degrees. We are on the money. I was right about those fans. Now that that coil does not have all that ice on it, man, all of those fans are running. So it's just, it's just weird, man. I hate these ECM motors. But um, yeah, that's it, man. We're gonna make sure this thing defrosts properly, and then I call this, I call this uh, from pain in the ass to success. Thanks for watching, man. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel. I appreciate you guys if you made it to the end. Y'all have a good one. Man, so that was an interesting one. It was a little pain in the butt, but, uh, you know, we got it done. Things were just 
not right. This system is not a normal system. So we've been taking on accounts that other companies have not wanted anything to do with because they cannot figure it out or they messed it up and then we get called. So he sends me out here. I go over the whole, all this, the whole store. Figure, yeah, I get documentation of every piece of equipment in the store and then I go through everything. I fix and, and I find every single thing that needs to be repaired and then we set them up on maintenance plans. That's what I do. So I, I get stuck with the nightmares and this is just one of those nightmares. This system is not a normal system. This is not. This is a pretend hot gas system. So it, but they people see a reversing valve on a refrigeration system. They're like, "What the, what the hell is this?" So I get it, and this, this unit shot. It's just, it's it's just not in the best condition that it is. Um, so we we we're just taking care of things as we go, looking at the big picture, trying to take care of them as best as possible, efficiently as possible, and fixing things right and making sure that the product stays cold. That's my job, and I'm doing it, and I'm doing it to the best of my abilities. Y'all have a good one. Please like, follow, comment, and subscribe.